So what was the best Hot Toys 1-6 scale figure released in 2022? Hi everyone, welcome to 1-6 Figure Focus and you're very welcome to the 5th day of Christmas or the 5th day in my 12 day playlist called the 12 days of Christmas where every single day I'm dropping a video at 3pm Greenwich Mean Time, 10am Eastern Time and 7am uh, West Coast. So. Uh, on day one, I outlined my top five pickups, that's live now, of 2022. Some were released in 2022 and some were not. On day two, I outlined the best deals I got this year. On day three, I outlined my personal top five, which is going to be different to this one here because this one's the people choice. And then on day four, yesterday, I outlined the most exciting announcements that were made in 2022. Now, this particular video, this video, day five of the fifth, the Day 5 to 12 days of Christmas, we're going to look at the people's choice. So what I did was, over the last few weeks, I've been kind of like putting my ear to the ground, listening to people talk, listening to people on panels, uh, listening to people commenting. I put up polls on the community tab on my YouTube channel. I put up polls on Mentimeter and shared that on my Instagram and on my YouTube and on different uh, you know Facebook groups and stuff like that. Because I wanted to get a kind of a feel for like what did the people... What did, what did the community vote as the best 1-6 scale Hot Toys figure of 2022? So this is going to be different to the video that I had a few days ago because that was just purely my own personal figures. Because let's face it, if there was figures released this year that I loved, they're more than likely behind me unless there's a few I have in order that haven't come in yet. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to just going to show you how I gathered this particular data. Now this here is just menti.com. Um, I've obviously blurred out the top five because I don't want to spoil the video, but we're going to count down from 12 to one. And what I did before that was, there's a few different things you can do on Menti. You can just like have open-ended questions like what was the best um, Hot Toys figure and people would just, you know, add in their opinions. And then from that, the ones that appeared the most, I added to a new presentation or a new poll where you could rank these. And this is what, again, I didn't come up with any of these. This is, I didn't even cast a vote on this. I just, um, kind of organize the data I got and put it together as this uh, 12. So in total, you can see, I'm just gonna move myself here, if you can see behind me, 39 people actually uh, actually took place. You can see it down below, there. 39 people actually uh, voted on this. So if you're one of those 39 people, thank you very much because I needed to get that data. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. This is actually also live because um, if you know people, if you're watching this now and you haven't voted, go to www.menti.com, uh, type in that code there, and you can just rank these from your your favorite to uh, your least favorite from one to twelve. And I might do another video maybe in the new year, see if it changes or not. Right. So coming in at number twelve, it was Echo. That's the TMS 042 from the Bad Batch. Coming in at eleven, the Batman and Robin. I think it makes sense to pair them together. Are you really going to have one without the other? Coming in at one, pardon me. Coming in at number ten, the DX19. I think that's particularly low, but I'm glad I made the list. Uh, Cable MMS583. Coming in at number eight, Ahsoka Tano, the TMS021 from Clone Wars. At seven, classic suit Spider-Man. That's VGM048. And at six, the Miles Morales MMS567. I thought that was going to be higher because I know the Collecting Weekly um, gave that the title of the best Hot Toys One Six Scale Figure of the Year, and I think it won Figure of the Year as well. But it's a really popular figure. It's not in my collection, but it it, it does look amazing. Like I, I, I'm not even going to get into it. It's a fantastic looking figure. So we're going to count down from five. To number one, the best Hot Toys 1-6 scale figures that were released in 2022. <clears throat> one second. Right, getting a bit croaky there. So we're ready to go. So remember, I had nothing to do this. I just organized the data, collected the data, and put it up there and gave people an opportunity to vote. So if you're watching now and you are not happy with this, go into mentimeter.com or menti.com, type in the code 24938003 and you can cast your vote. Maybe uh, if it changes between now and the end of the year, I, I might do another video. I can't see it change, but maybe we'll. Right, so coming in at number five, we have the Arena Sued Boba Fett. This is just completely lost on me. I know it's from a series of comics where he, um, does he paint his armor black, something to do with his father, and you know, he, he has an axe and stuff like that. To me, it's just a Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett painted black. So I think it's a bit gimmicky. Uh, I'm not personally into the, I, I'm a trooper collector, but I don't have any interest in the gold troopers, the chocolate troopers, the the porcelain troopers, the, um, the what, what, what's it, the, the, the chrome troopers that were kind of pewter and stuff like that. They're not for me. I find them a bit uh, gimmicky for screen accuracy, but it's not my opinion. 
It's the People's Choice, and this came in at number five uh, as the fifth best Hot Toys 1 6 scale figure released this year. And, you know, that's the People's Choice. Coming in at number four, no surprises here. This is another figure that's not in my collection. This is the uh, Nightmare Batman and Black Suit Superman 2 pack. I do think this is a pretty fantastic release. If I liked the movie, maybe I would have been inclined to get this. I think if I really liked Justice League, I would have gone ahead and got this. More so for the Nightmare Batman, because I really, really like that. Uh, it's a strange look. I, I have to admit, I didn't like it when I first saw it, but it grew me. It looked like it stepped right out of a comic. Because I mean, come, I mean, come on, why, why does Batman have to wear a coat, in fairness? But I get the whole thing. It's a dream, or should I say, a nightmare. These two look great together. I do have the Henry Cavill Justice League um, Superman. That is my one representation of Superman in my collection. And it was never going anywhere, but now that he's not playing Superman anymore, it definitely isn't going anywhere. But I really like, I prefer the vibrant blue and the red on that. But yeah, this is, uh, it looks like a great two pack and it's coming in at number four. Coming in at number three, no surprises here. And I completely agree with this. And these two are up here. Like this was, this made my top five. This was number two on my top five list. Where do you start? It's a two pack. You got diorama bases with both of them. You've got that, I think that's a 10, that head sculpt. I, I think that's one of the best that, I think it's the best head sculpt I've ever seen from a Hot Toys 1.6 scale. It just looks so good. It's going to give those Yandus and Tarkins a run for the money every day of the week. They just do a really good version, uh, or, or uh, they do a really good um, iteration of uh, Tamora Morrison. The fact that he's bald as well, you don't have to worry about hair, that adds a sense of realism as well, because sometimes if sculpted hair is done bad, or, bad, or if rooted hair is done bad, it can take you out of it. The weathering, come on. Like, this is a triple threat. Do I love the character Boba Fett? Yes, I've liked him since the original trilogy. Um, do I like the source material? Mandalorian, when he took out the battalion of stormtroopers with a stick and then proceeded to get his uh, armor back and then, you know, he used the rocket for the first time. He just took people out left, right and center. It was great source material, just bloody good TV. And um, do I like this iteration? I actually prefer this weathered, battle damaged uh, version of Boba Fett to the original trilogy. I actually prefer it. Um, I, I, I know it's probably sacrilegious. I'm a big original trilogy fan. I mean, that's Star Wars for me. The original trilogy is number one. But um, I really like the weathering and battle damage on this. And as a figure, I think this uh, Boba Fett here on the left is actually um, more interesting than this one up here. And I love the original trilogy Boba Fett. Coming in at number two, another Boba Fett. Again, I had nothing to do with this. I'm just the messenger. This is the people's choice. Throne Boba. But in fairness, um, I have watched a good few shows uh, and streams over the last few weeks talking about the best figures of 2022. And this this uh, gets a lot of praise. Apparently the throne in, in hand is amazing. Um, and look, it's the repaint armor. I really like this armor too. I, I, I prefer the, um, the battle damage version here. Um, I think maybe even though that this is Mandalorian because we first see this thrown at the post credit scene at the end of season two, last episode, season finale of season two of The Mandalorian. It still kind of screams Book of Boba to me, which isn't a good association in my opinion. So, I'm just gonna count back through there from five to one. Coming at number, f number five, this is the People's Choice, fifth best figure of the year, the arena suit Boba Fett. Coming in at number four, the Nightmare. Uh, Batman and Superman 2-pack coming in at number 3, the TMS-034, the Boba Robot 2-pack or Deluxe Boba Fett from The Mandalorian coming in at number 2, Boba Fett and the Thrones, this three Boba Fetts in the top 5, just realised there was three, but number 1, the People's Choice for Best Hot Toys 1-6 scale figure released in 2022 and I completely agree with this one because it's the exact same as my favourite figure, Snowspeeder Luke, it is... I've got to go on a rant again, don't I? It's original trilogy, it's Luke Skywalker, it's from arguably the greatest, uh, if not the greatest Star Wars film ever made. It's heavily weathered, it pops on the shelf with the orange, you can pose it with all the accessories and it doesn't look like you're trying to shoehorn all the accessories in. The weathered and the paint application on that helmet, the likeness to Mark Hamill is good. I mean, you can hang the lightsaber, metal lightsaber hilt off the belt, put the, the gun in the, the holster and then have him holding the... Um, the kind of grappling gun, the grappling gun that he used to shoot up and uh, attach himself onto the underbelly of the AT-80. All in all, a great figure. Just actually a coincidence that it's the same. The People's Choice was the same as um, my own choice. But um, yeah, so I think I only own two out of this top five. So my wallet is somewhat safe. 
Anyway, so that's um, the fifth video. That's This is day five of the 12 days of Christmas. Tomorrow will be day six. There'll be another video dropping at 3 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. West Coast. If you're enjoying these videos and you want to support the channel, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. Why wouldn't you? And um, yeah, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of these. And if you disagree, just go on to uh, menti.com and type in the code I showed and voice your opinions. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. That's it. That's the end of the video. See you in the next one. Good luck. <laughs>